the, the, the deep rooted father issues that I had, it was him showing me how to fall down, but not get back up, you know? And I had to learn that on my own. And the ways I was doing it was wrong because I always end up chipping myself up. But eventually I got it and, it's, and it really meant putting the drugs and alcohol down. And then when I finally came to the point where I, I accepted the fact that I have a problem, I had to see and look at myself in a different shade of light. So when I did that, I said, you know what? I want to be the best father. What's the best way to do that? Champions for Children. So when I, when I got into it, it surprised me because I didn't know all these opportunities was there for me to take. Like they was just giving it out like it was free candy. I was like, oh my gosh. Like I was really happy because they felt like a family and they still feel like a family because they are there for me. Like I really appreciate everything that they've done for me, you know, because I wouldn't be the person I am or the father I am without the help from them. I might just be sober, but a better father is because of Champions for Children. There was times in the past when I would be present, but I wouldn't be mentally present. You know, I would say what's different now and before is that I'm actually sober. You know, I don't want my daughter to see me or even have that sense of, oh, I know what alcohol smells like because of my father. Um, Cause that was me. I know what weed was because of my father. You know, I, I said I didn't want to do it and I ended up doing it anyway because my dad did it. So just by me not doing it and me preaching and practicing what I preach, my daughter can see that that's not the way to go with life. So that's really what I want to instill in her instead of having that knowledge of, oh, it's okay. My dad does it. It's not okay. My hopes for me and my daughter in the future, I just want to be there for whatever she wants to do. Like, I want to show her that there's more to life than what she thinks, like the world is big, you know, you can, I can just guide her in the right, the right direction. So I just wanna be there for her, supporting her, you know, not just being there present. I wanna be there mentally too. I wanna just be able to connect. If you have questions, I got you. And I won't stop learning. So if she has a question about anything, I'm gonna I'm go try to learn what she's trying to learn and we can learn it together. If someone wanted to get involved in Champions for Children, I would say, do it. I would say, give it your all. Take in everything that you are looking for, cause it's there. They're gonna give it to you. Like they'll they'll work overtime to make sure that the needs of you and your child are met. I I haven't seen one person in this program that that was turned away about anything. And it's just a real. It's like a real thing. Like there's programs out there that that might say that they will help you but then they'll just probably push you out the door at the same time. This, this program doesn't, doesn't do that at all. They wanna be there for you. Actually, they, they wanna see the steps that you made. They wanna see the progress. And they're really right there when you're making your steps. Like I, I had somebody um, who works for the program came to my graduation and she actually cried and it made me cry because like, I felt like I was doing something that like, I can be proud of. And there's people out there that's really rooting for me, you know? And I want other people to feel that same exact way. I want people to know that there's people rooting for you. You know, you don't have to just give up. Like, you can do this. It just takes your, your, your all, your soul, your, your willingness, you know? The courage from, from you and God and just everything, just everything.